Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv, and today I've got a brand new subscription box to check out. I have Munch Pack for the month of May. Now this is mystery foods from all around the world. This box feels really heavy, guys. Hopefully it's filled with lots of goodies. So as we open it up, we get a little cardboard cutout here. It says, Hola, Adventurous Eater. This Munch Pack was made with lots of love by Chris. Enjoy. And then we have the little like paper cover to just add a little bit more mystery to this box. The first pack of goodies is a pack of chips here. These are Meow Meow, the House of Snacks potato chips. Um, I don't actually know where these are from. Maybe China or Japan or something. Anyway, these look interesting. Wow. Seriously? So these chips are from Malaysia. They must be freaking strong over there, guys. I can't even open it. So let's do it the good old fashioned way. Here we go, so this is my first taste. These actually remind me of the chicken flavored veggie chips that we have in Australia. They're actually really tasty. They're kind of light as well. They got like a nice crunch to them and they kind of taste like air. There's not really much there, but they're tasty. Mmm. I have wanted to try these Cheetos for such a long time, guys, but we don't have them at all in Australia. These are the Flaming Hot Cheetos. Now, these look really cool and uh, quite a small packet, but I've never tried these. They're like a twister design. Oh wow, they are hot. Damn, they're nice. They taste like jalapenos. These Flaming Hot Cheetos really live up to their name. Boiling hot, guys. I love hot food, but even for me, I was like choking up before. They're insane. Tastes like jalapenos or jalapenos for my friend Andrew out there. Interesting, and I like them a lot. We now have some strawberry lollies. This is definitely going to offset those Flaming Hot Cheetos. These are called Kiki um, Jagoda Strawberry. On the back it says US product of Croatia, so I guess these are a Croatian candy. Let's check them out, they look delicious. Let's try them guys. Mmm. Mm. They taste like Haribo. They're so soft and chewy. Mmm, and that strawberry is delicious guys. Mm. Guys, these kikis are so good. My camera lady is opening hers as well. Mm. We are now trying some green tea candy here. Never tried green tea candy before. These bad boys here are from Korea. Hopefully they're not from North Korea. I don't want any nuclear warfare going down in the house. After this taste test video though, I may have some nuclear warfare in the toilet. Anyway, let's try these bad boys. Oh cute, they're in little like mint packets. My camera lady and myself are trying these at the same time. Green tea candy, let's see what we think. They taste just like green tea, which isn't the great thing. <laughs> Not keen on it. They actually literally just taste like green tea. I'm not the biggest fan of those. They've probably still got heaps of sugar in them, but they just taste super dull. They're kind of gross. No thanks. Alright guys, I'm excited about the Princessa now. We don't have these. This is a Nestle product from Poland. Mmm, Princessa. Let's see. Need a bit more like sugar after those green tea ones. Oh, it's like a wafer or a, a waffly design. So it's a wafer chocolate cream mixture of goodness. Mmm, that ain't half bad. Pretty light. And it's got a zebra design as they say on the side of the packet there. I can see myself eating that, probably not all the time. That's pretty good. So I was thinking, what are we missing out on? And then we got some gummy lollies. We've had sweet, we've had hot, we've had plain, dull. Now we've got some super sweet gummy lollies. Now I'm keen on these. These are called Verbena. I have no idea where these are from. Um, maybe Switzerland or something based on that there. I have no idea, guys. Anyway, we'll try them. It looks like there's different flavors on the back. And these are kind of sticky. Oh, they're not too sticky. They look really odd. They look like leaves. Hmm. They taste like baby wipes. I don't know if I like them. We haven't got many foods left to go, but this has been a really cool box, guys. We've had stuff from Asia, from Europe, from America. Nothing from Australia yet, but I guess I live in Australia, so who cares? But I'm really excited about this next one. I've always wanted to try taffy. So this bad boy here 
is made in America. So you know it's gonna be sugary as hell. Wow, it just falls apart. It's like cotton candy, but more sugary. Mmm. It's good, guys, but really sugary, like sugar overload to the max. I should just be pouring sugar into my mouth. Ugh. It's so thin, it just like falls apart. It's like pulled pork, but sugar pork. It doesn't taste like pork, it tastes like sugar. My first experience with taffy is pretty good, guys. It's tasty, but I couldn't eat that every day. It's just sugar, it's literally just sugar on sugar. Go America. I don't know where this is coming from, guys, but I love the packaging. It's cute and colorful. Let's try it, it feels really lightweight. Oh, okay, it's like some sort of chip. What, this is weird. Oh, that's actually amazing. Mmm. I'm guessing somewhere in Asia has made that and they've just made my day. Oh, that's so good. Kinda tastes like sour cream and chives. There's definitely chives in there. That's delicious. I wish I knew what it actually was. You have to let me know if you guys know. That is good though. Mmm, one of my favorites so far. Oh. We now have something from Romania, guys. I haven't tried anything from Romania. This is just a little basic biscuit. But it's Eugenia Jr. with a little cute bumblebee mummy. So obviously it's honey coated, looks like it's got some sort of cream in the center. I love everything that's cream filled, so mmm, let's try. Pretty basic biscuit. Oh, I got some of the honey. That's actually pretty nice. So honey coated biscuit with some sort of creamy center. Creamy center. That honey really stands out. That's actually nice as. I wonder if that's real honey or just flavored honey. Anyway, it's amazing. I'm liking that one. This has been quite the cultural experience. We've tried things from all over the world. We only have two more to go, which is a sad moment for me, but I've really enjoyed trying things from all over the world. It's great to see what's popular in different countries. The next thing we have is the Lubisi. Some sort of BC? Anyway, this is from Poland, and we'll try this one. It feels relatively soft. Um, I don't know what it is. It looks like a biscuit on the picture. Oh, it's like a muffin or something. It's baked. How cute is that? Got little paws. Aww. Aww. That's cute as, and you can kind of see a face there. Oh, it's filled with like berries, some sort of berry sauce. Oh, that's actually really good. Let's see if the feet have different flavor. No. Mmm, that's good. We have another Polish item here. Everything is from Poland in this little box here. I'm guessing they have good taste in food because everything from Poland I've loved so far. This one is called the Grzeski Toffee. Interesting. Um, it looks kind of crunchy and wafery in the middle. Multiple layers and I'm ready for this. This looks good. I'm very keen. Oh, look at that. Chocolate coated. It's definitely a wafer. Oh, wow. That toffee. So flavoursome. It doesn't even ooze out, but I feel like it should ooze out. It, that's how it tastes. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Again, another good thing from Poland. Mm. I'm gonna go to Poland. That's it, guys. That's the end of Munch Pack for the month of May. I thoroughly enjoyed this. If you'd like to see another edition of Munch Pack, let me know, guys. It's great to try things from all over the world. I will have a link in the description below if you would like to check out the Munch Pack. Thoroughly enjoyed that. It's cool to test different foods. And I couldn't complain about really anything besides maybe the green tea and that leaf flavored thing, whatever the hell that thing was. Everything else was delicious, it was sweet. Mmm, so sweet, loved it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.